Hello my dear friends and thank you for joining me for an art journal spread with whimsy stamps and nouveau shimmer powders. My name is Julia and I am so happy to soon reach 1000 subscribers and it's all because of you lovely and supportive people. I'm starting these pages with a big and fun background stamp called the comic book page and I treat my cardstock with an anti-static bag and bring out WOW's ebony super fine embossing powder. I stamp in Versamark sticky embossing ink, cover with my black powder and melt with my heat tool and I do the same procedure three times so I have plenty to work with. My next stamp set is called Nope and it was a gift from my little sister and I bet she recognized me among the images. I stamped the crying lady with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink which is waterproof and then I stamped the grumpy lady with her arms crossed. Next I take all the grumpy sentiments from that stamp set and stamp in embossing ink, cover with WOW's ebony embossing powder and melt with my heat tool and I just love the glossy raised black sentiment. I have many of Dilutions Dialogue Journals and I keep them in this Dilutions canvas cover that I decorated myself. It says mine and my precious in true column fashion. And you can see that my plain white journal is filled with 2020's art journaling pages. So far I have only used the black one to write down quotes and draw patterns, but now is the time to make a couple of proper pages. I have two pieces of watercolor cardstock slightly smaller than the black pages and before I make backgrounds out of them with my nouveau shimmer powders I mask off the edges to keep them crisp. I add small amounts of powder, barely touching the back of the little bottles and I add storm cloud, meteorite shower, blue blitz, violet brocade to the first panel. And for the second panel I used storm cloud, meteorite shower, violet brocade, blue blitz and cherry bomb. I just adore when I get to add water to my panels and activate those pigment powders. I use a brush to hold down my panels when they want to curl up and I let the colors move and blend as I add more powder and water. When it's time to remove the masking, I use my heat tool to heat up the masking tape so it can be removed without the risk of tearing. And I am very, very happy with my panels. Next I have one of the comic book page backgrounds, this one will be the first layer and I use the shimmer powders to give color to the middle part using storm cloud and meteorite shower so the result is mostly grayish blue. On this next background layer I use the shimmer powders in solar flare and Catherine wheel. I gently tap out the powder and activate it with water. This time there is a method to the madness so bear with me. So 
now I have two colored layers to the background and on the last background layer I fussy cut out the frame around the middle and several other details untouched by shimmer powder. I put foam tape behind the red panel and glue it on top of the grayish blue, blue panel. Next I glue that cut out frame and words onto my red panel enhancing the dimension and details of the comic book page. I glue down the strip with a barcode over the one on the red panel as well as the words giant size at the top. I also glue down a cut out price star and a square in the top corners. Now let's color these images and I will use a mix of mediums to do it. I have a Prima watercolor palette, some Arteza Real Brush watercolor markers, and a couple of shimmer powders. I use my Prima Complexion watercolor palette to give both these ladies a skin tone, and on my Crying Lady I put a lot of pink on her cheeks, and I use two brown shades for her hair. For my grumpy lady I do the same procedure, trying not to giggle at the determined look on her face. For the glasses on the first lady I use a pink yellow pen and I will go in later with a black pen to draw in the black lines I lost to the yellow pen. And for my second lady's glasses I use two purple Arteza markers. I use Arteza markers in three shades of grey to color in her hair, starting with the lightest grey and working my way to the darkest, before I blend it out with water on a regular round brush. I also color her eyebrows the same way. It's hard to catch on camera, but I'm using those grey markers and the light blue to give those puddles of tears some depth. For the ladies' outfits, I use Nouveau Shimmer Powder to color. I add the powders to my surface and add water. I color in the first lady's dress with solar flare and Catherine wheel, putting that shimmering red where I want shadows and filling it in with yellow. I also color her shoes with the pink cherry bomb. For my grey haired lady I use violet brocade for shadows and around the edges and I fill in her shirt with cherry bomb again. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I stamped two of the crying lady and I put the other one aside and concentrate on her background. I put her in my spray box and add Nouveau Shimmer powders in Storm Cloud, Meteorite Shower, Violet Brocade and Blue Blitz. Next I activate the powders with my spray bottle with water and then I add more powder and water until I'm happy. I'm trying to achieve some dark clouds on her sky. So now I have all the parts I need for my pages and it's time to put it all together. I put foam tape behind my lady and glue her on to that cloudy background. Next I also glue the tear puddles I colored before over the puddles on the background. 
For my next lady, I use more foam tape and glue her inside the center of the comic book page with her crossed arms resting on the black sign saying, Spectacular. It is now time to give my first two panels some love, so I put double-sided tape behind each panel and glue them on inside my black journal, leaving a black border around them. Off camera I drew a speech bubble around each of my embossed sentiments and I used them as a guide when I put foam tape behind my first image and glue it in place so I will have room for both the sentiments and the image. Next I put foam tape behind the comic book page and I always use some liquid glue as well to give myself some wiggle room when I glue down images. And I cut off one corner so it will be possible to close the journal. Finally it's time to glue down the sentiments that say nope but I don't wanna, adult today, you can't make me. And finally, the one that says, being an adult is the dumbest thing I have ever done. And when my speech bubbles are in place, these whimsy mixed media art journaling pages are finished. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And I hope you will come back soon for more. Until the next time, happy crafting.